Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Today, one simple thought to get you to kind of ponder and to think about, and here it is. Just wait. God will make things right. Be patient. Take a breath. Wait a moment, or a week, or a month, or a year, but ultimately God makes things right. Listen to these words from Proverbs 21, verse 6. We read these words. A fortune is made by a lying tongue, but it's a fleeting vapor and a deadly snare. When a fortune is made, when money is made deceitfully by a lying tongue, we're told it's a fleeting vapor and a deadly snare. So what's the point? We see people in this world who lie, who cheat, who deceive, and it seems like everything goes great for them. They're making money dishonestly. It, it, they're, they're being deceitful, they're lying, and they're getting away with it. And we watch from a distance and we can kind of stew and get frustrated and almost wonder, is there any justice in this world? But, but I love what, what's written here in Proverbs when someone attains their wealth by the wrong means. It says, it's ultimately a fleeting vapor, a deadly snare. A vapor that just kind of eventually dissipates and disappears. We've all heard stories of people who became rapidly wealthy and they, and they, they uh, check, check out a lot of the cryptocurrency uh, uh, mega stars who are on, literally on the cover of every financial magazine. They're, they're the new uh, Bill Gates. They're the new Warren Buffett. They're the new, you, you fill in the blank. And where are, not all, but where are some of them right now? In jail hiding out in other countries because they don't want to come back here because they, they'll get in all kinds of trouble. You say, well, wait, that, but, they, but just five minutes ago, they were the wealthiest person in the world and a rising star, and now they're a laughing stock. So when you see something that doesn't seem right, just be patient. God's still on the throne. And then it's interesting. The passage says it's a fleeting vapor and a deadly snare. Even in the middle of somebody who has acquired what they have dishonestly, deceitfully, even when they haven't, uh, their, their wealth hasn't disappeared like a vapor, things haven't fallen apart, it may be that they're in a deadly snare. We may look and say they're smiling on the, on the cover of this magazine, uh, they, they, their life seems to be going smoothly, but they may be locked in a deadly snare where the, every moment is fear of getting caught. Every moment is anxiety of what will be taken away from them. And so, here's the invitation for us. Just wait and know that God will make things right. And as for ourselves, you might look and say, I'm doing things, trying to do the right things the right way, and it's not paying off. Well, in eternity it will. And if you're patient, maybe in this life it will too. So don't give up hope. Don't get discouraged. Don't look at those people who are lying and cheating and deceiving and all, everything seems to be working out well because the story is still being written. And the ultimate story is in eternity. And we know that then God makes everything right. Will you pray with me? Lord, we can look on and watch people who seem to have everything come their way and they seem to be doing things the wrong way and it turns out right in the world's eyes. And sometimes we can be doing the right things the right way and we feel like we're bumping our head against the wall. I pray, Lord, that we would be patient and know that you're on the throne and know that you will make things right. And even those times where people who seem to have it all for the wrong reasons, with the wrong attitudes, Lord, they may be in the vice grip of anxiety and worry about it. They may be right in the middle of things disappearing like a, like a, a vapor disappearing into the sky. We don't know, but Lord, we trust in you. And we know at the end of all things, when we're with you in your presence, in your presence, Lord, all things will be made right through the name of Jesus. We thank you for that confidence. Let us live with that every day of every moment of our lives. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, have a great day. God bless you.